Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how I did the portrait illustration of my sister's picture in Mexico. Um, I am a complete beginner, so this is not a video for you if you are not a beginner. Uh, basically, I learned all of this from YouTube two days ago and I just want to show you how I did it. Um, firstly, choose a picture that you want to choose um, and then uh, put it at layer 2. And then you create another layer uh, while lock the second layer and in layer 3 then only you do all your editing uh, take the pen tools choose the color that you want and basically just trace the picture good thing about Adobe Illustrator it has a, a libraries full of colors so you can choose any colors that you want uh, for example for this illustration I choose skin tone color so it has like multiple skin tone and you can change as you go so these pen tools actually help you um, to trace a picture and most importantly it makes your life easier when you want to um, like keep changing color and in uh, after this when you want to edit for it further um, the point of this kind of illustration, um, I don't know what they call it, but um, it's not to have a perfect, perfect image or like perfect trace of an image, but it's actually um, to create a minimalist look of that illustration. Um, so you don't have to trace it like exactly where it is. You can choose not to to. Um, trace certain things that you don't think is necessary or you want to highlight in your illustration. Um, for some of the outfits here, um, I want to show you how I did it. Um, for example, at one point, at this part, you don't want to follow exactly like it. You just like go over it and then you can choose a range um, and send everything to back. And then here, as you can see, the scarf has multiple um, like patterns on it. Uh, but I don't want the patterns uh, that much. But I, I like the color of it. So I just like draw random patterns and uh, just trace it like that. For the um, scarf, it's black in color. So what I did, um, I just traced everything. Um, but not in perfect order because of the trick that um, all beginners should know is you can choose it and arrange it and send it in a way that you can send whatever you're doing backward or send to back up to you. So I like that kind of feature because um, it's like reducing my burdens of literally tracing it every like at every inch so I can just like go overboard and after that um, I just choose a range and then send back with no send to back sorry so when you send to back then you get the whole um, patterns to like be on top of that um, shape that you created um, there are many other colors in the libraries as you can see um, I just like to choose uh, anything that I feel reasonable and if I couldn't find it then I just go for basic color so this blouse is actually um, black in color um, so I just like choose normal black and um, using the same trick just now I just like follow um, the trace of the I just trace a picture and but not in a proper way in a way that I just go overboard and then do the same trick arrange and send it to the back
Then I realized I missed out something here. Um, it's blue in color, but I just want it to go like to become a very earthy tone, or um, you know that, that color scheme. So I just chose um, that shade of blue. Uh, um, for something like with patterns, I prefer tracing the patterns first and then I choose the rest of it because um, I can just send everything to the back. And my sister, um, if you follow her on Instagram, she always has borders in her pictures. So I wouldn't want to miss that part of her. Um, so I include that in my illustration and I feel like it looks nicer too. As I told you, the point of this illustration, you want it to be as simple as possible. So I don't wanna like draw every single trees at the background. So I just like choose um, like, the whole area to become like green. And then I just trace the mountains to be like dusty purple color. I forgot to mention earlier, I have another layer which is layer 3, purposely for background. So I just like do it, the background, and change the color. Um, now, I want it to be um, a perfect smile, but I couldn't do it because I'm a beginner. So I downloaded a bunch of templates from Adobe Stock. Um, and this template uh, gives me in like AI format so I just chose the kind of smile that I want and the kind of glasses so <clears throat> I can resize it and change the color according to my illustration Another feature is brush. So I like to use brush um, whenever I don't want to make a shape out of it and, or I want it to be simpler and faster. So I just do, use brush and just like color the whole thing. Uh, 
notice what I did here is I removed the face earlier that I made and I literally like put the smile on my sister's face so I got the smile at the exact location um, and the glasses at the exact location. And then I move the face back. So I here I just draw what is not covered in the template and uh, change the color of the lips because I don't want it to be like too red. I want it to look more natural. And notice that now um, the smile, I changed the position of the smile because it kind of looked weird um, if I like follow the exact thing because now this is an illustration, not the exact drawing. Um, and then um, another beginner's trick, a tip is that you can use brush um, to make the edges of your trees not so edgy um, because you want the face to look as natural as possible so you don't want those kind of edges to make it look like you're not smooth so you want it to be smooth so that's the purpose of using brush um, I like this feature and I don't think um, any videos that I watch mention about this so I want to make it clear that this is the saviour. <laughs> So um, I did the same technique to any other non-smooth edges on my illustration. And if I did go overboard, I just arrange and send it to bed. Basically, that is all about my illustration. The rest is just touching up what I have and um, change the color of the whole background. And I always edit or end my illustration with like something nice to be put because it's like too blank. Um, so I put Mexico because this is a picture that she took in Mexico. So um, I want this to be like memorable to her as well. And 
lastly, I put my trademark, Petite Malay Girl. Um, if you don't know, I posted all of my illustration, poems, um, films on my second Instagram account, which is at Petite Malay Girl. And you can follow that account if you're interested. Um, so I just put it at any part of the illustration that I think necessary. And then I save it as PNG with transparent background and we're good to go. Thank you for watching guys. Bye.